Hey guys, it's Brian here with Haley Family. Uh, last fall, our last trip on the way back, we did a turnaround on a Walmart parking lot and we bumped a curb pretty hard uh, with our trailer tire. At the time, I didn't think anything was uh, really damaged, but when we got home, I took a look at it and the bearing was pretty much toast. So I just replaced the bearing and then we winterized the camper. Um, instead of just rolling with it, which we probably could and it might be okay. I know when things get hot that they can, you know, deform, the metal can get uh, out of shape as it, as it normally should be. And the brake drum was pretty warm because those bearings were toast. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that brake drum and the bearings inside and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm not going to replace the brakes, I've already inspected those. They look okay, um, but just the drum because the bearings got so hot on the way home. It was just a 20 minute drive, the bearings got so hot. You can kind of see some discoloration on the drum. So I'm gonna just replace that and when I'm doing it, I'm gonna put new bearings in and grease it all up and make sure it looks good. So uh, I'll get all the stuff I need and we'll get this thing going. Okay, this is gonna be uh, just like the tire change video we did earlier, I'll link that above. You're going to want to break these bolts free that hold the tire on, jack the RV up, take the tire off, and then we're going to take the castle nut off for the bearings. Okay, those are all broken free. Now I'm just going to jack the RV up. The RV's jacked up. Now I can take the uh, this tire off of here, and then we can get to the castle nut where the uh, drum is. Okay, the tire's off there. Now before we removed the, the cotter pin, which is holding the castle nut in place, I'm gonna go get a whole bunch of paper towels because there's gonna be a bunch of grease in there that I just put in. We're gonna get this thing completely all clean and taking that castle nut off there, there's gonna be grease that comes out. You just wanna get it all cleaned up. You don't want any dirt and stuff in there. Okay, I got my paper towels ready and I'm gonna remove the cotter pin on there. This right here is the cotter pin, so you'll bend these little tabs back and pull it out. And we're going to back the nut off. There's a nut in here called a castle nut. I'm going to back that off and this whole hub that holds this thing on here is going to come off. So right now I'm just going to remove the cotter pin. I'm going to bend the ears back so I can pull it out. Now this castle nut just slides right off of here, just like that. And you can see how greasy everything is. So that's where these paper towels will come in handy because you're going to clean all this stuff up. So there's a little washer in with the castle knot. Yeah, clean it all up. Now, this whole drum just slides right off of here. Just like that. And you can see by the colors 
how hot this got. So I'm going to replace this drum. The brakes look dirty, but they're not bad, so I'm going to clean them up. But I'm going to show you how to set the, set the bearings in here. And that's the hard part of setting these bearings, because then it just slides right on after you've got it cleaned up. But I'm going to clean this all up. I'm going to spray this all down with some brake cleaner. Okay, we brought it in the barn here. It was pretty windy out there. But this little tool right here is what you use to pack the bearings. It's pretty nifty. So you just unscrew this, it comes apart. You put your bearing down on here. You screw it back together. Like this. Just like that, the bearing's pinched in there. Now you're gonna take your grease gun, put it right on top. It fits right in there. And you're gonna pump it until grease squeezes all, all out of the bearing. There we go. You can see in there that grease is pumped all the way through there. And I'm gonna keep pumping a few more to get grease to come out between the bearings themselves. There we go. Now that bearing is nice and packed. You just unscrew this, take it apart. And then now we're gonna set the bearing into the drum. So this just pops off of here. And you unscrew it. And that bearing is nice and packed. Okay, now we're gonna set set the bearing inside of the drum. <clears throat> so since it's this way, all you need to do is turn it around, tap it a few times and that bearing will slide right out of there. And you're gonna grab some grease, fill it on the other side of the bearing. And this is the grease, the seal. This goes right on the back. You get it kind of set and then Okay, I got my rubber mallet and I'm just going to slowly tap around here to get this set. And just like that, and I'm going to take my finger and run in here on the bearings and spin it around a few times to get that grease all worked in there. Just like that. And now we'll do the front bearing. The front bearing doesn't have a seal to hold it in. So you want to do this one last because then you're going to put the, the drum right onto the spindle. So the same thing. Set your bearing in there. Screw this down. Grab your grease gun, put it on there, and now we're just going to pump this until that bearing is all full of grease, and grease is oozing out of every hole. There we go, it's, it's oozing out everywhere. So now I'm going to take this off the grease gun, set that bearing, and we're going to go walk right over and set the drum right on the spindle. You can see the grease is oozing out of every one of those bearings. So now you just take it, flip it up, tap it a few times, and that bearing should fall right down in there, just like that. You're gonna wipe the extra grease off and push it down in. Now this side does not have a seal on it. What seals it in is the castle nut and the washer. So when you carry it over, carry it this way with this bearing up and then you'll slide it right onto your spindle. Okay, so we're just gonna slide it right on here, just like that. It's a nice tight fit. Wipe the extra grease off of the splines. Now I'm gonna dra grab the washer and the castle nut. The washer goes on first castle nut gets threaded on. Now 
Now on these, there's a little hole for the cotter pin. You're gonna thread it just past the hole. And it should be about finger tight, just like that. We're gonna slide our cotter pin in there. Okay, we're gonna slide this cotter pin back in here. Here it's coming out on the other side. Just like that. through grab your needle nose pliers bend it all the way back bend the second one down just like that now I'm gonna get the grease gun because I have a, a grease buddy a bearing buddy I'm gonna put my grease gun on here and pump this thing while I turn the drum around until I start to see grease come out of here. Okay, here we go, I got the grease gun. I'm gonna fit it right onto the bearing buddy here and I'm gonna pump it. Keep pumping it, turn it, pump it, turn it, pump it, turn it, pump it, turn it. Pump it. There we go. I've got grease oozing out. So that bearing and drum is packed full of grease. Now we just put our dust cover on here. like that all right we're gonna put the tire back on here it just slides on there the round part of the nut goes into the tire okay now we're gonna lower the trailer down and we're gonna snug these up you do opposites I just lowered the trailer so now I'm gonna tighten these bolts cross pattern, tighten them down. All right, so we just finished replacing the bearings, the drum, and we greased everything up, put it back together. Uh, remember, if you have any wiggle in your bearings, just replace them. If anything gets hot, you're better to replace all of the components. That includes brakes. If you know what you're doing, have them checked because uh, any kind of heat will da damage this equipment and it won't function correctly. And the worst thing you want is to be driving down the highway, you lose a bearing. If you lose a bearing, your whole tire could come off. So that's the worst, you, you don't want that. Just have these things checked, put new grease in there every three to 5,000 miles, just like an oil change. You get your oil change on your tow vehicle, put grease in your trailer. Um, that's about it for now. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. We're going to have some more content coming out soon. But in the meantime, get out, have an adventure, and make your own memories. Well, geez, that wind was crazy. Whoa, the wind's blowing my face off! <laughs> but in the meantime, get out, have an adventure, and make some, some of your own. Dang it. <laughs> Memory! Every time I make screw, some memories! Every time I screw that up, dude. <laughs>